Yes, I again. Man, people, if this latest scandal down in Atlanta doesn't mess with your head, what will? A person would have to be totally, totally brain dead for this kind of thing to just slip in one ear and out the other. Don't you think? If you don't know, I'll try to brief you a little bit on it. Teachers and principals at, I believe it was 178 schools in Atlanta. No, it's 178 people. I'm sorry. 80 or so of those people have already confessed to the truth of this matter for jacking grades, cheating on scores. I read one section of an article that mentioned they would have erasing parties or erasure parties where they would go in the room, lock themselves in, and somebody would read off the right answers. And to me, that is just so freaky. Can you imagine not being able to get a job based on your score, but come to find out all these greats have been jacked for I don't know how long. I have no idea. It's just incredibly crazy, incredibly numbing almost. I was off the internet several days. Um, just trying to figure stuff out. And I just can't. I've had no help with my own woes. Um, everyone has woes. I, I'm aware of this. But I mean, where does a person get any help? It's like, well, they're your problems, you fix them. Well, if I go to fixing them, somebody's liable to not like it, how I'd fix it. You know? Because that's one of the casualties of being human. We do have woes. I, I am aware of that being the truth. And I'm not trying to say mine's more complicated than someone else's. Because I'm sure out there, if I look around, I'll find somebody with worse problems. And I could say, gee, mine seems small compared to that. I know this. But I do wonder where I do get relief without taking meds. You know, without having to change my lifestyle again. I don't know. Talk soon.